is interdependent. Individual human lives are enriched and sustained by the variety of life around us. An impoverished environment affects us all. Guardian Life invites you to meet and respect some of our neighbors on this planet and join with us in a dedication to life. All life. As human beings, we pride ourselves on our ability to build houses and to equip them with all modern conveniences. While animals do not have architects and builders to help them, some still manage to construct shelters in which to take refuge when danger threatens or during inactive periods. These may be simply holes in the ground, or they may be elaborate and beautiful structures with many rooms and chambers. An agouti will feel quite at home in a hollow log on the forest floor, while a squirrel will prefer to live high up in a tree. If he cannot excavate a tree hole himself, he may squat in one rightfully owned by a woodpecker. Land crabs like fiddler crabs or ghost crabs dig tunnels in the mud which lead down to the water level. Here they retreat if there should be any threat from predators. Ants like these leaf cutting ants have large subterranean complexes with special chambers for fungus gardens, egg laying and refuse disposal. Jack Spaniards build neat little nests to house their brood, each larva with its own cell. The maribunta and related wasps seem to want a bit more privacy and build a multi-layered nest surrounded by a sheath. These wasps build with paper gathered as wood shavings. Other wasps use mud, often building attractive little pots to rear their brood in. The soft-bodied termites cannot withstand direct and intense sunlight, so they build long covered passageways extending out from their nests to suitable feeding sites. Should you damage these passageways, you will immediately face an army of soldiers ready to squirt noxious chemicals at you from their nozzle-shaped heads. The other well-known nest builders are birds. Birds build nests to keep their eggs and nestlings safe from predators. Building such nests requires some dexterity, especially when it all has to be done with beaks and feet. The crested Oropendola, to ensure that he builds a strong home for his chicks, selects long, tough fibers to weave his pendulous nest with. Lighter birds, like hummingbirds, gather cotton fluff or spider's webs to build theirs. Birds usually only build nests when breeding, roosting at night on branches. Some animals need not return to a particular point during inactive periods because they carry their protection around with them. The snail's shell is such valuable protection that some species of hermit crabs, which cannot produce its own shell, adopts the vacated homes of snails for their own. When an animal builds, it is following its natural instinct and has no choice in its type of shelter. An attractive nest in no way indicates an artistic streak in the builder. It is merely a characteristic of the species. But this fact need in no way diminish our wonder at the expertise that went into its making and our respect and admiration for the patience and skill of nature's builders and architects.